My name is Richard Gustin and welcome to the Getting Started with Clever Stack video. So first off I'm going to run Clever Init, my dash first dash app, and that's going to download and set up the Node.js powered backend and the AngularJS powered frontend and it'll install uh, all the NPM packages and bow components that are used to compose clever stack full stack application. see here that it's now completed the backend installation and it's moving on to the angular portion of the installation And now you'll see that the front end is completed its its npm installation and it's now installing any bow components it needs to additionally here the cleverstack cli will install the bow components and nested dependencies of any of its modules that it's installed and lastly we move on to protractor It's worthy to note here that the protractor portion of the installation could take a long time and you can skip it by using dash capital S. Now that our installation is completed, we just need to change directory into this into our new application by going cd my dash first dash app. And then now we're ready to install a bunch of modules. Um, or rather the bunch of modules that we're going to use. I want to use MySQL here, so I'm going to install Clever Orm. Uh, we need authentication, so I'm going to install Clever Auth. We need accounts, so I'm going to install Clever, Clever Accounts. We need users, and we also need roles, so we add Clever Users and Clever Roles as well. Um, so let's just go ahead and install that. Once our modules are installed, um, we're presented with uh, setup prompts, which you see here, default username. I can just leave it as the default and hit enter, um, like this. Um, or I can enter a value by typing in Y for yes. Um, I'm going to change this password here. I'm going to change it to clever. I'm just going to go with default values here. And so on and so forth through the prompts. So now I'm prompted to set up the object relational mapper, which I'm just going to use all default values for MySQL. And once that's in, once I hit enter, it'll run a post installation step, which will actually install the MySQL NPM package, and then it'll run our database migration. And now we're done. We're ready to run the application. We just run clever serve. And once it's started up, the back end and front end, you can open up localhost port 9000 in your browser and it will be it'll load up the clever stack front end. 
we're going to sign in with the user that I set up in the prompt before, which I've got saved here. You see that I'm able to, to log in successfully. This nice little menu on the left hand side. I'm able to click on add a role, which brings up a modal. I can I can see the modal and, and all the borders are correct on all the sides and everything all lines up and is responsive. Um, and I can close out of this, this modal and it doesn't create it. So let's have a look at accounts. Um, we can see a list here and we can also see users, roles and permissions. Let's have a play around with the filters and have a play around with the, the software and see how it works. Thanks for joining me uh, in this video and I hope you enjoy Cleverstack as much as I do. Thank you.